What is up, YouTube Moon Party? So we have our second list, our second chunk of deck profiles. First one we're going to talk about is from the New Zealand regional, and then we'll talk about more out of uh, YCS Utrecht for everybody here. But uh, New Zealand had another regional. The winning deck list from it was Sky Striker. Now, it was like a 23-man event. Um, I just, I love Striker. I love covering the progress on the deck. And these ratios are a little bit different from what we've seen so far, but I just wanted to kind of make note of these. So we have triple copies of Sky Striker Ace Ray, one copy of Rose, triple copies of Ash Blossom and Dry Spring, triple copies of Ghost Ogre and Snow Rabbit, and triple copies of Effect Veiler. All right, that's it. Now only, I've been on the fence about playing multiple Roses. Um, I do kind of think that heading towards one is a little bit better. Um, I do see what we were going for here, so I do like this. Um, also, it's definitely been a thing that maximizing on hand traps um, in straight nine of them seems to be the way to go. Um, the only other argument here is like Baylor versus, say, Droll and Lockbird. Um, I guess you kind of pick your poison, or if like you cut the crow or Baylor for the crows. Uh, it just depends on your metagame. We have one Jamming Waves, one Rota, triple Gobbies of Desires, one Avarice, one Upstart. Triple, or excuse me, one Terraforming, one Afterburners, triple MST, two Shark Cannon, one Horned Drones, one Set Rotation, one Widow Anchor, one Multi Roll, two Area Zero, triple Mystic Mine, one Metaverse, and triple copies of TC Boo wrapping up your main deck here. Next deck, we have triple copies of Shizuku, triple Kagari, one Kaina, triple Hayate. One Hita, one win, actually. This was interesting to see. But basically, whatever you capitalize off of this in terms of advantage, I mean, you have room for it. We have one Phoenix, one Ningrisu, and one Zero Boros, actually. Side deck here, we have one Pankertops, triple DD Crow, two Jamming Waves, triple Called by the Grave, triple Heavy Storm Duster, and triple copies of Solemn Judgment, wrapping this up. But I do want to say, hiding behind TC Boo is good. Uh, the triple copies of Desires is also fine. Now, like, you need a replacement for draw power. Now, yeah, I, I get that it sucks that you can, you know, sliver off your own engine and things, um, depending on what you've set up. But I do par partially like the fact that this does reward you, give you advantage. And, I mean, it's not like you don't have Mystic Mind to hide behind, you know, to kind of cover around those rougher matchups. So... Yes, Mystic Mine, very, very, very good uh, for counteracting today's very degenerate metagame. And it does it quite well, honestly. So, yeah, this was, like I said, 23 people. It is what it is. Um, I, I do like this, though. Next up, we have the Orcus list uh, that topped the YCS. Now, this definitely caught me off guard a little bit because... We're playing Magician Souls in Orcust. Now, tell me the last time that you uh, would have thought, besides Lunar Lights and Spiral, that you thought you would see Magician Souls in this. TCG is just massively abusing this. So this deck ended up making top 16 out of the event. It's another body that you can put on the field. It gives you the ability to tutor out your draw cards. You know, you can drop a Crescendo to get a search. Uh, it just, it does a lot for this deck. Also, you know, it's not like you can't discard the Apprentice Illusion Magician Girl Special Summon anyway. Just, it's good consistency all the way around. So, we have one Apprentice Illusion Magician, one copy of Armageddon Knight, triple copies of Asher Blossom and Joy of Spring, triple copies of D. Crowmeister, one Dark Greffer, one Gizmek, triple Magician Souls, triple Nibiru, the ancient primal being, we have two Brass Mummard, two Symbol Skeleton, and triple copies of Orcust Nightmare, a.k.a. the Fredmeister. Then we have the Scrap Package of one Scrap Colm and triple Scrap Recycler. And then we have two fucking World Wands in this deck. Then we have triple Lord Darkness, triple Called by the Grave, one Foolish Burial, one Babel, triple Orchestrated Return, one Rota, and triple copy... Er, yeah, two Crescendo, wrapping up the main deck here. Extra deck. We have one Zero Boros, one Trisbania, one Scrap Wyvern, one Lungrisu, one Link Rebo, one Unicorn, one Phoenix, one IP, triple Galtea, one Barricade Borg Blocker, one Appy, 
and two copies of Ding Ding. Side here we have one Panker Tops, Triple Droll, Triple Lightning Storm, two Mind Control, Triple Twin Twister, and triple copies of Solemn Judgment. Wrapping up your top 16 Orcus deck list. Yay! It's alive! It only took Magician Souls to uh, put this deck effectively back on the map to be good. Should you be spending all this money? I don't think so. But this is what happens when you take engine, 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 smash them together, and here you are. You have this bad boy. All right. We have Thunder. Now, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I'm extremely happy to see Thunder. Also, Twin Head of Thunder Dragon, he talked about in his... Uh, well, from what I was told, he talked about that this actually came up with him. Sometimes you just have to uh, make a twin-headed thunder dragon, and uh, you know what? I don't. We haven't seen a lot of thunder list actually approaching this and being like, "Hey, you know, you should probably play this." No, this this looks like pretty standard norm here from going forward. So maybe we should be approaching the twin-headed thunder dragon for thunder more as an option. You know, just to be able to make. You know, it's one extra deck slot. It's not like it's impossible to ded dedicate to this. So we have triple copies of Aloof Lupine. Triple copies of Ash Blossom and Joyous Spring Under You. We have triple copies of Phantasme. One Ghost Ogre. Two Nibiru. Triple copies of Thunder Dragon. Triple Thunder Dragon Dark. Triple, or excuse me, two Dragon Duo. Two Dragon Hawk. Two Dragon Matrix. And triple copies of the Dragon Roar. Spells here we have triple Lore Darkness. One Gold Stark. Triple Instant Fusion. One Lightning Storm. Two Desires, and triple copies of the Thunder Dragon Fusion. Down here in the extra deck. We have one Link Rebo, one Unicorn, one Phoenix, one IP Mascarena, one Cross Sheep, one Boralode, one Soldier of Chaos, one Appaloosa, one Twin Headed Thunder Dragon, triple copies of Thunder Dragon Titan, with the one copy of Thousand Eyes Restrict, one Millennium Eyes, and one copy of the Kaminari Attack. Side deck here. We have two Dimension Shifters, pretty standard. One Pankratops, two Lightning Storm, two Mind Control, triple Twin Twister, triple Different Dimension Ground, and two copies of Dynamiscus. The uh, European players really love this card, man. Like, we had two deck lists that were actually approaching this this weekend. Cheers! I like when this card... I love when we get to a format that's stable enough to have tech choices like this present in the format, because... When it goes to prove that players are getting the chance to mess around with ratios, cooler things are happening, and then, you know, just evolution. So, very, very nice. I like this. And then the last list we have here is another Spiral list. I believe that this was top 64. Packing in triple copies of a pointer of the Red Lotus. Ha, ah, man. It's this card is I, I get it, it's still good, but like are we gonna go above the seven dollar price tag that we've already got on this? I don't know, we'll have to wait and see. Also, we have one Pozimo, the drop in deleter. So it's two monsters with different levels. Monster special soul summoned face up to his own that this card points to. While you control this monster, you can declare a level from one to eight, and this card's level becomes that level. You can target two monsters with the same level, one of each, and destroy them. Huh. It's a cool little spot removal here. So, we have two copies of DD Crow, triple copies of the Magician Souls, one Drones, one Last Resort, two Master Plan, one Quick Fix, one Sleepy Boy, two Super Agent, one Tough, triple Call by the Grave, triple Hadoken, one Foolish Barrel, one Foolish Barrel gets triple Instant Fusion, one Monster Reborn, one One for One, one Rota, two copies of Spiral Gear, Big Red, one Assault, one Resort, one Terraforming, Triple where are thou? One utility wire. Triple copies of rescue. Next deck here we have one Trigate, two double helix, one Pozimo, one Link Kariba, one Unicorn, one Phoenix, one IP, one Boral Sword, one Barricade Borg Blocker, one Appy, one Recital, one Dweller, and then two Thousand Eyes. Side, we have two Nibiru, two Mind Control, triple Twin Twister, triple Pointer, triple Evenly Matched, one Imperial Order, and you guessed it, one Red Reboot. Wrapping up your second wave of deck list from this weekend's events. Ooh, so what do you guys think about these decks? Please leave a comment down below to make sure you guys think 
and Wall Duelist. I'll catch you back on the flip side. Peace out. The ride never truly ends. Thank you, patrons, for helping support the channel. Without you guys, I don't know if I'd still be doing this. And for those of you that like Card Fight Vanguard, Fancol40 is here for all your content needs. And those of you asking if I sell cards, mcoolgames.com for all your trading card game needs. Check the description for more interesting info. Thanks for watching, guys.